We depend on our phones. We depend on our computers, our tablets, our different devices. In fact, to the point where we don't really know how we got along without them. So what happens when you forget to charge your phone? You know, I've done it a number of times, just slipped my mind, went to bed, woke up, had very little power. I was getting ready to go on a trip of some sort. You know, I might have my car charger. I might be somewhere where I can't get power. You may have a power outage. Uh, there are a number of things that can happen, and because we depend on our phone so much, it's really important to have a backup. Now, I've done a couple of reviews on battery backups, but even those need to be charged. So we're going to take a look at a couple of solar options, some solar charger options. And these are two items from eBoot.com, and of course I'll have the information down below. Two ways to charge your devices and be able to get solar charging, but it will also accept a char electronic charge. And so that way you can electronically charge this as a battery backup. And I think it's really important to have that solar capability in case the power grid goes down or you're in a place where you just can't get any more power. That way you can pull these out, get power by the sun, and then have your uh, electronic device ready to go. Now this is the 5000 milliamp solar charger from eBoot. It comes with the charger uh, and the solar panel is embedded in the charger. It has a really nice hard rubber case. And I really like this, it's resistant to shock, but it's also resistant to dust and to water. This is shock proof, dust proof, and it is water resistant. Uh, you don't want to submerse it, but if it gets wet in a puddle, you're going to be fine. It comes with a small charging cable that connects the charger with a power source. To charge your phone, you'll need to have your USB from your phone charger to plug into this. And because of that, it allows for iPhones, Androids, all the different type devices. Have your charging cable plugged in. Take the uh, USB cable, put it in the port. Here we go, it'll start charging. You have to have this on to get the charge going, but here we go. It also has a small little carabiner to be able to clip right here, and then you can clip this to your pack or put it somewhere where it's real handy. Here, even with this Molly webbing, take my charger, hook it to it. This allows me to charge as I go. This battery is gonna be charging as it just sits on my pack. Your on off switch is right here. Just click it one time and then you're going to find out how much power you have. This is going to be the indicator. It's at 25% now. It goes up to 50, 75, and 100% when all four of these LEDs are in the blue condition. To turn it off, just press and hold. Now when this is being charged with solar, which will be passive, anytime you have this setting out, uh, this will turn green, just this one LED. The green light indicates that the solar panel is being charged. Any kind of block of the panel will shut the green light off, but even ambient light will charge this. You're not supposed to put this in direct bright sunlight. Even in a car that's closed up, uh, if the temperature reaches a certain level, it can damage the charger. This is not being charged, but if you put it under a light, you can see that the green light comes on, and when the green light comes on, that means you're charging. So even indoors, very similar to a calculator that has a charging unit. Uh, they can recharge by the light that's in a closed room. Your connections are under this little rubber boot and you can see right here a USB cable and then also your micro USB which fits the charger right here and then this goes into your computer. Here we have the charger hooked up to the computer via the USB cable and you can see that it's charging, it's working on the 75% with the blue light. Now once this reaches 100%, uh, it'll shut off and uh, it won't keep charging. If you're charging your phone, you use the USB cable on your phone and then hook your regular cable into the device. We have one USB port on this side and then another USB port on the other side. These close down uh, you may want to make sure those stay in the closed position. That's going to help keep this more water resistant. 
Okay, on your power switch, you can double click and the LED comes on. Here are the on and off button, click it twice. You have your light. Not super bright, but not too bad. I mean, it makes a great emergency light. Of course, really, you should have an EDC light in your pocket. But this definitely is a great backup, and it is rechargeable. And double click, and it's off. It does come in a couple of different colors. It comes in green and black and blue and black. It may come in some others. Now, it does have a 5,000 milliamp lithium polymer battery. And so when you're charging that battery, it's going to be able to hold this charge. Now, the solar panel actually charges the battery. You can't directly charge your phone from the solar panel. And so that's one of the things that you're connecting the battery to a power source or to solar, and it's building it up. But that's different than this solar power panel. This one is a 1,000 milliamp uh, charger, solar charger. And this one will be charged directly from the sun, and then that will go straight to your device. So there's a, just a very minute difference, but it's important to note. This one does not come with a charging cable because it is strictly a solar panel. But it does have a USB port right here on the side for you to be able to uh, enter your USB directly to your device. Now one of the cool features about this particular panel is that you can double click and you get a really bright light. You click it again and it's going to flash. Click it again and it's a slow flash. This would be an excellent emergency signaling device. And if you want to shut it off, double click and that turns it off. Of course, again, this is powered by the 1000 milliamp and this is a lithium polymer battery as well. It's internal in this panel. It does have a metal grommet here for a carabiner and this can also be attached to your pack, different things like that. Whatever bag I'm using, clip on the carabiner, ready to go. As I'm walking along, this is gonna be charging. I could even plug in my USB cable here, stick my phone in my pack and have this charging along as I go. Uh, one of the cool things about attaching this to a pack is that it will be gaining sunlight the whole time. Now this one is not water resistant, so you're not going to want to leave it in the water. Now the output on both of these is 5 volts, so it's going to take a little while to charge up your device. But the other day I had my phone out and I charged up the phone with this charger, and I believe it was only at about 50%. And it didn't take too long, it took a couple of hours to charge it up but this is definitely a backup type situation. But the 5,000 milliamp battery will make two full charges. Uh, you need to make sure that it's at 100% if you're gonna hook in two devices at one time into this charger. The panel is only one USB, but this has different features that this one does not have. So I thought it was pretty cool to have both. And to me, the more backup systems you have for your devices, the better. Between just calling on your phone, GPS, uh, being able to get online and do a lot of things just for your phone, not including all your other devices, how important it is to have your devices working. And if you're in a really remote area and your phone goes down, it's really comforting to know that you have solar backup right there. Now you can go to the eBoot website and I'll have all the links down below and check out all the specs and any questions you might have. And so the information there should be able to answer all the questions. Most of these have most of the information already on them. Uh, this one, even on the back, has a lot of the information about this specific panel right on the charger. And of course we have an instruction manual that I'll keep with this at all times. And that way, if there are any specifics that I need to know, I can get to them. But the big thing is, is making sure that you have a battery backup. And having a solar battery backup is a win-win. The 5,000 milliamp waterproof, dustproof, windproof charger runs $20.50 on the Amazon website. Uh, the solar panel, which has the emergency flashing lights and the LED lights, that will directly charge your device from the sun is $23.99 and I'll have the links to both of these items where you can just click and go straight to the items on the Amazon link. But I think these are excellent items. Uh, again, eBoot is a great company. Uh, they do produce a lot of different type of electronics and so I think that this is going to be an excellent source as a battery backup. I've, been, I've had these for about a month now and I've used them a number of times and really they work fantastic. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. 
Long live the Republic. Ready to go. Uh, but it does have a USB port. It's marked also by this bright spot here. One of the cool features is to click this. This one has a small little booklet, and you can keep that booklet with this one has a small little brochure that this one has a small little manual that you can keep. Now this one has a small little now this one also comes with directions that you can keep. 